Today, we will explore five key areas where artificial intelligence is significantly impacting our lives. These areas are perception, representation and reasoning, learning, natural interaction, and finally, societal impact. Perception Humans use their five senses to perceive the world around them. Touch, sight, hearing, smell, and taste. We have sensing organs associated with each sense that send information to the brain to help us understand and perceive what is happening around us. These are our human inputs. Humans also have a number of ways of outputting information, like speech, writing or typing, plus the more subtle outputs of facial expressions, posture, gestures or body movement, inflection, tone or volume when speaking, and not forgetting physical contact. AI systems running on computers have been catching up with us in the past few years. Software managed the basic text-to-speech process quite some time ago. However, the early attempts at computer speech did sound very robotic, with little in the way of inflection or emphasis. AI has changed all of that, and computer-generated speech is now so good it can be hard to tell that it isn't human. AI systems have gone further and added hearing to the list of skills. Speech to text is now much more capable, even with interactive systems like Alexa and Siri. The human ability to smell isn't as impressive as that of your pet dog. Dogs have up to 300 million olfactory receptors in their noses, compared to about 6 million in humans. So dogs are much more efficient at detecting things by smell. AI systems, though, are also catching up. There is a new AI based on a neuromorphic system neural network, composed of many computing elements that mimic nerve cells to process scent information. The AI sniffs by taking in electrical voltage readouts from chemical sensors in a wind tunnel that were exposed to plumes of different scents, such as methane or ammonia. When the AI whiffs a new smell, that triggers a cascade of electrical activity amongst its nerve cells or neurons, which the system remembers and can recognise in the future. While this is early days for an AI with a sense of smell, it does hold significant promise. Researchers from the Technical University of Denmark, the University of Copenhagen and Caltech have enhanced the abilities of artificial intelligence algorithms by incorporating a new aspect, taste. This particular study did use humans as the tasting mechanism. Nice work if you can get it. However, IBM have developed HyperTaste, a tool for chemical taste sensing, making a sensor that analyses the chemical composition of liquids. The HyperTaste has an array of sensors to determine the chemical fingerprint of the liquid. These data points are fed through their server where a machine learning model uses the data to train the algorithm and compare the fingerprint to a database of known liquids. It would be hard to have missed all the reports of AI systems being used for face recognition or image analysis. There are such vision systems built into self-driving cars to allow the car to identify other cars, people and where the road is. Without these vision systems, such automated vehicles would not be possible. The ability to add sensitive touch to robotic systems would seem to be an entirely logical extension to robotics development. We've had robots in car assembly factories for many years. However, in other manufacturing and processing areas, Robots need the ability to use both vision and touch to be able to handle fragile or awkward objects. Meta have been developing the Meta Digit Plexus as a standardised platform for tactile sensing hands and provides a hardware-software solution 
to integrate tactile sensors on a single robot hand. Representation and reasoning Computer representation and reasoning involves the methods by which computers can manage and alter information to address issues and reach conclusions. Firstly, representation refers to the process of converting information into a format that computers can interpret and process. This includes binary data, mathematical models or symbolic logic. Various representation techniques are better suited for diverse kinds of information and challenges. Selecting the right representation is a crucial element in creating an effective computer system. Secondly, reasoning is the process of arriving at conclusions and making choices based on the data held within a computer system. There are distinct types of reasoning, such as inductive, abductive and deductive. These approaches can be integrated to create sophisticated systems capable of addressing intricate issues. In computer systems, reasoning is processed through algorithms and the effectiveness of the reasoning relies on the quality of both the data and the algorithms employed. The plethora of AI chatbots is evidence of both representation and reasoning, as they can be asked questions in plain English and supply responses in that same language. Of course, a major point of these chatbots is to hide the complexity of how they get from your question to the answer, concealing the vast infrastructure that enables all of this to happen. Learning Machine learning pertains to the capability of computers to learn from data and enhance their accuracy in executing tasks without the need for explicit programming. This process includes creating algorithms and models that can detect patterns in data, which can subsequently be utilised to make predictions or decisions. A prevalent use of computer learning, machine learning, employs models that are trained on extensive collections of examples and is consistently refined as additional data is acquired. There are distinct categories of machine learning such as reinforcement learning, deep learning and supervised or unsupervised learning. Reinforcement learning is a category of machine learning in which an agent learns to make choices by engaging with an environment and obtaining feedback through rewards or penalties. The aim of the agent is to develop a policy that is a method for selecting actions that maximises its total reward over time. In essence, it resembles training a system via trial and error, where effective actions are reinforced and ineffective ones are not. Deep learning models consist of several layers which enable them to learn hierarchical representations of information. For instance, in the context of image recognition, the initial layers may recognise edges, where the subsequent layers can discern more intricate shapes and objects. Supervised learning is a method in machine learning where an algorithm is trained using a labelled dataset to generate predictions or classifications. This process entails training a model on a collection of input data that contains the correct output or label corresponding to each input. The model identifies the connection between the inputs and outputs, enabling it to forecast results for new and previously unseen data. Natural Interaction A key objective of AI is to enhance the naturalness of interactions with computers. If you have ever posed a question to Siri or Alexa, you likely have a basic understanding of what this interaction entails. Each progress in this technology results in responses that appear increasingly human rather than robotic. Although this technology has significantly evolved from its initial stages, it remains a major challenge for both computers and intelligent agents, as human interaction is intricate and diverse. Elements such as facial expressions, sarcasm and tone are just a few factors 
that complicate the ability of AI systems to mimic natural interactions. An additional problem with training AI systems to cope with natural interaction with humans is that such interactions evolve over time. A simple example of this is the annual addition of new words or phrases to published dictionaries. Human language evolves over time, and not only do some words fall out of use as others are added, but the subtle meaning of words or how they are used can also change over time. Therefore, any AI system capable of natural interaction will require to retrain periodically to pick up these sometimes subtle changes. Societal impact As the use of artificial intelligence becomes increasingly common, concerns are growing regarding the ethical consequences of its application. This encompasses the necessity for AI systems to be transparent and understandable, allowing their decisions to be comprehended and trusted. Additionally, it is essential to ensure that AI is developed and utilised in a manner that is consistent with human values and ethical standards. Since AI systems learn from data and algorithms, their actions are influenced by the information they are provided, their training data. Consequently, the results produced by an AI system may be biased and unjust if the training data contains implicit bias. Ethical issues in AI encompass bias and discrimination, insufficient transparency, privacy issues and the risk of abuse, including information and job loss. AI systems have the potential to reinforce and exacerbate current societal biases, resulting in unjust or discriminatory results, particularly in fields such as recruitment or lending. The black box characteristic of certain AI models further heightens concerns regarding transparency and accountability, complicating the understanding of decision-making processes and the attribution of responsibility when problems do arise. The demand for ethical audits of AI systems is increasing. This to evaluate their risks and confirm they adhere to ethical standards. Just what those ethical standards are to be is both a point of great debate and a challenge to implement. With those thoughts in mind, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.